today I am reviewing this and this and this and I'm so excited about it. It's the Jay Kisser collaboration with Elf. I love Jay Kisser. She is so inspiring. I wish I had found her when I started, just first started doing my makeup because she's so inspirational about being yourself and loving yourself for what you are and it's okay if you want to put makeup on and look cool but you should also just love what's underneath and just generally be happy with yourself because that's the baseline for any good relationship with your self and body and image and all of that. We're going to go ahead and just break into everything. I've already opened it and touched it because I have no self-control, but we can pretend. Look at this. How cute is all of this illustration? It's too cute. Look at it. I can't wait to put this in my collection. It's so pretty. And then inside you get a tiny little brush, although it seems to be a really, really nice brush. So it's double-ended. It has one very fluffy blending side and one smaller like pencil side. I want to take this traveling with me. Look at that. Look at those, look at those colors. How, mm, so pretty. How could you not love this? You do love this, everyone loves this. There's no one that doesn't love this. I, I can say that for a fact. This is like upside down how the palette is set out. But this tiny little palette that comes with this really cool amazing brush it's double-ended, it's only 12 pounds, and I could clearly just shove this in any bag that I have. I could literally put it in my coat pocket and it would still fit. I could just like travel with it. It's great, I love it. It has the shade names on the back as well. Don't mind my creaky chair. So great, love it. Ikea doing me right. You really get to feel the love that she has put into this. It is really, really cool. All of these products, um, at least that's what it says on the website, are vegan and cruelty free, which I know um, J Kiss is really big about things being cruelty free and makeup. No testing on animals. Why? We don't need tests on animals, test on people. You know, consent. So, next up, blue eyeliner. I couldn't not get this. I mean, I don't have really any colored eyeliners. I have one other one that is colored, but nothing compares to this. Look how pretty this navy blue is on my pale, pale, pale skin. <laughs> Although I'm sure it would look good on every other skin tone as well. It's just, you know, very pale skin. It is a retractable pencil, so. Ah, yes. So you just turn the bottom up and it keeps going up. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, up. And then you can also bring it down, which is good because I just had a sudden realization that you know some pencils that you like turn up and then you can't turn them back down. Didn't want that to happen. That that would have been very upsetting. And it has a little sharpener. So whenever you use it and it like becomes flat, because you know, you know that happens and you need that like really sharp edge, you can always just sharpen it. So this blue pencil in keeps with the theme of the cool illustration. It's smudge proof, so if you leave it to dry for like 30 seconds and then you like go over it, it is actually pretty smudge proof, so that's quite nice. It's only five pounds in the UK. I have no idea how much it is in dollars, I'm sorry. I don't I don't do the maths. I don't do the maths. I can't do the maths. <laughs> And last but not least in the collection is a brown mascara, which similar to Jay Kisser, I could not have wanted this more. Like, I don't have something like this in my collection. It is not just a brown mascara, it is like a light brown mascara. Look how cool that is. There you go. Usually when you buy brown mascaras, they're like pretty much black, but just a little bit more subtle, which is a nice look, don't get me wrong. But this is so cool. I can't wait to put this on my mum because she's really ginger and it's just gonna, it's gonna be a whole thing. I can't wait. I'm gonna make a video about it, don't worry. But that is great. This is also in theme. It has the really cool illustrations just going around it and it's actually a really big bottle. I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to put all of this on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And this one is six pounds. So, really affordable for mascara. Usually even the Rimmel ones are like 10 pounds. So yeah, good mascara pricing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna separate these four into an eye and these three into an eye. Don't mind my eyebrows. They're doing whatever they wanna do. They're just living. Don't judge me, okay? Thanks. We're gonna start with the shade Danger. We're gonna take it on the little pencil side of the brush. Let's do it on this eye. We're just gonna 
put it over here lightly to start with because I'm scared oh my eyes have been um, primed with concealer and then powder although that is now creasing so that's good to know. We're going in with another light layer of this. Oh, it is falling out, but we can we can deal with that later. It's okay. It's okay. Let's use the fluffy side of the brush to just sweep it away. There you go. Okay. Ah, oh, that really goes with my hair, actually. With a heavier hand, we're just gonna tap, tap, tap a little bit and just continue adding. This brush is really nice because you can actually get really, really close to, like, making a line with it. So that's Cool. Okay, we're gonna wing it out a little. Oh, I really like this tiny brush. Yes. I'm gonna go in with the yellowy shade, uh, mac and cheese, on the fluffier side. Tap it a little. And just go over the top of this. Just wanna blend it a little bit. Oh my god, this mac and cheese shade is so there for me. Thanks for supporting my life and dreams. Waterfall. This purple shade, I just... I feel like it needs a sticky base. I'm just gonna keep going over top with it. It's okay. We're gonna make it work. Maybe if I go in with my finger a little. Oh, my phone just made a noise. Hello? Let's see. Ah, yes. Using the finger does help. <gasps> that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So obviously this is a more colorful look and the other side is gonna look a little bit more tame. So if you're more faint-hearted, please. Feel free to skip this side and follow the instruction for the other side. I'm going to take my favourite shade that I swatched, Sway, the iridescent one. Just going to put that at the front. Oh my goodness, that's crazy pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. The last but not least colour of the quad that we're doing, Alien. Oh, you can't really see that on camera. You can see it in real life there. It is a beautiful, like, acid green. I'm so here for that green. That is so pretty. So I reckon we use the liner as an actual, like, eyeliner on this side. Because I think it will look really, really pretty with the purples. And then we're just going to smudge it a little bit. smidge smidge oh no it's removing all the purple you don't fix this don't worry that's looking cute the the blue is so nice okay let's go back in with the purple oh actually that blue looks really nice layered with the purple what a happy accident there you go how's that looking i really like that gonna move on to the next side okay so this side we're gonna do more of a just blown out look we're gonna start with the shade BFF. Oh, this is such a nice color. It's gonna be a very normal, bronzy, grunge look. You know, the look that you're used to seeing on your general Instagrammer. Just dusting the yellow ochre shade. I mean, I'm saying this is a basic bitch look, but trust me, I love this basic bitch look. Sorry, I went in with um, shade My Moon. It's the ready shade. Oh, this builds up really nicely. It blends so well as well. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Now we're going to take our finger and use the shade 23, the massive white shimmery one. We're just going to put that on the inner corner. Wow. That is so pretty. This isn't anything innovative and like, you know, I didn't have to try too hard as you could tell. This is just the look everyone's used to nowadays. So I just went under with the shade um, My Moon and now I'm going back under with BFF. Very pretty, very smoky, very Instagram. I still really like this look though. This is just a lot more everyday wearable, like I, I'd wear this to work. I'm gonna go under now with the pencil. Ah! Just put that in my eye. Good Jesus, Renata. Right Get the grip. So I've let it smudge under a little bit, just so we can go in and further smudge it. By all means, if you don't want to use the blue, you could just use those three shades and that is such an easy, simple look. And the thing is, what you could do is you could use any of those colors with like a hint of the green in the inner corner or the green underneath as well. Or you could use this beautiful pink instead of the brown. You could use you could use this as a base for like your entire eye look. There's so many things you can do with this. This this is my take. It looks really weird side by side because one has like an overwing and one has an underwing. <laughs> 
see what this mascara does. I'm so excited. Okay, let's make my eyelashes ginger. So it says zigzag motions. You use it like you would a new mascara, really. Oh, that is so nice. That is such a nice formula. That is so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. That just pulled like the whole look together. If you were questioning this eye before, I, I can see that you're not anymore. Okay, let's head over to this. This eye, this is such a nice formula. What do we think? I actually love this. It says that you can build up the mascara as well. We're gonna just wait for it to sit there a second, dry a little bit, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some highlight. So I'm gonna use the, the shade 23. Right there, more oh, pretty. I already have highlight on, but it couldn't hurt, you know? No such thing as too much highlight. I mean, there probably is, but we don't care about that in this channel. And dusting some on the Oh, so pretty. We're gonna do another coat. I think it's, yeah, it's pretty dry. So we're gonna do another coat. I think the second coat made it better. I know they said that this is limited edition, didn't they? But honestly, um, they're gonna have to make this mascara. Like, they can't just get rid of it. What do we, what do we think? This side kind of goes with my hair. Or well, this side doesn't go with my hair. But everyone's seen it before and it's still beautiful. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I love this palette. I cannot say enough good things about it. Like it is powdery and you do have to sweep away or like tap 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 and a sticky base would actually be quite good. Um, you'd have to blend a lot more and you'd have to put a lot more effort and like elbow grease into it but it would be like bright. Look how pretty this looks. And I mean like Jay Kisser. I, you're never gonna watch this because why would you but just putting it out into the universe and into the world I love what you've done like this could not be a better representation of yourself it's it's just affordable wearable and creative at the same time like it's just so good I'm so happy with this collection. I could not have wanted more from such a great youtuber. Oh my goodness It's so pretty. Okay so that was it for now. Love all two of you watching and I'll see you hopefully another day. Bye!